What's going on, y'all? It's Coach Rob. Yep. Back <laughs> again. I know you've been seeing me on Monday, which I do on the usual Monday Empowerment. But I had to hit you with a Tuesday edition, too. The reason why, and I'll tell you why, because there's no failure this weekend. No failure this weekend. I don't want to hear no story about no relapsing. I don't want to hear no story about no depression kick. This so we've been planning for this. I've been talking about this since uh, two or three lives about I want to get you ready for the holiday. And so that's why I hit you hard this week, you know, because that's what champions do. Champions empower other champions. I want you to succeed this weekend. I want you to understand that you're not that person you, you, you were. So that's why I came with that empowerment. That's why I came with that Monday and Tuesday. You know what? Because – Failure is not an option. Please believe that. But you got. But you. But the thing is, you got to know that failure is not an option. All right. So, if you join us for the first time, I'm Coach Rod with Zero Hour Life Center. If you'll know what Zero Hour Life Center do, we are a recovery community organization, and what we do, we help bridge the gap between professional treatment and building and building healthy, successful lives in recovery. And if you don't know what a recovery community organization is. We help create awareness and influence the recovery community to, to become engaged in our fundamental strategies and how we do that. We do that by education. That's why I'm always putting stuff on there on our Facebook page at Zero Hour Life Center. That's why I'm putting stuff on the page about the opiate, about what Congress, what, what the White House Council just $504 billion is going to triple next year. So that's why I put stuff on there so everyone can be educated because education is prevention. If you know what you're talking about to your kids, then you can prevent them from going out there and being one of these these numbers in the overdose crisis. So that's why we do the education. And I'm an advocate. That's why you hear my voice. I'm an advocate for myself. I'm an advocate for everyone in recovery. I'm an advocate for the addict that hasn't even went to treatment yet because I'm an advocate. Basically, I like to I, I, I like to talk about something that almost took my life, basically. So, and we offer services. We offer peer recovery support services, and um, that's me. I'm a peer. You know, you're, you're, you're my peer, and I'm a recovery coach. So that's what I do. Now we got that good stuff out the way. So, um, yeah, it's a busy weekend. Thanksgiving coming up. Everyone get to spend some time with the family. Um, and so we're going to talk about the fourth C, which is control. And we talked about that um, when I first introduced the five Cs in for, for recovery and saying long-term recovery. And let's go back over them. That's conquer. That's change. That's um, confront, control, celebrate, which give you champion. All right. So we're going to talk about in control today but first of all i want to shout out the first lady of zero hour life center she do all this behind the scenes she's the one that keep this thing moving she's in, she empowered me she's that pushing my back and you know she's a champion beast <laughs> i'll tell you a beast we, we did some things last night that amazed me and you know but that's just how it is and i'm just want to say thank you to her you know but uh Let's go ahead and jump into this control because you know something? To be in your surroundings, in your old surroundings this weekend, in your old stopping grounds, because some, some of y'all going back to your places, back to your family, old stopping grounds, where you did a lot of your dirt, where you did a lot of your partying and did a lot of your addiction and all that. So in order for you to maintain your recovery, sobriety, or even your, uh, 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 even your, uh, sense of positivity you must have control and when I mean control I'm gonna read the definition to you again the power to restrain that's all I, that's all I'm gonna say I ain't reading nothing else the power to restrain so that tells me that if I know I'm going back to my old stopping grounds I'm already thinking about that I'm already conquering that in my mind and that's what you should have been doing for the last two weeks if you knew that you was going back to an old environment, old life diet, that's a place, you should have been thinking about that 
two weeks ago. You should have been coming up with your recovery plan. You should have been coming up with your type of escape before you wreck. All right. So I know I'm I I know I'm going back to do some old stomping grounds. So I I start empowering myself. I start empowering myself. I started been talking to that inner man, inner voice. All right. And I started doing that. And I confronted myself. There I'm going again, confront. Because you know something, if I never had done that, if I never had that one-on-one -on -one conversation with myself in the mirror, you know what? Hey, I walk into a situation, I, I'll be vulnerable. You know what? Because you can change everything that's physical around you. But if you don't change your emotions on how you feel, then you ain't done nothing. I can, you know what? When I moved to Florida, I changed the environment but I didn't change the behavior. And so that's the thing about in recovery too. And, um, and I'm gonna hit that too. I can say all day I'm in recovery, but if I don't have the mindset, I ain't in recovery. I'm not in recovery because everything you wanna accomplish in your life, and this for people that's not in recovery, if you don't have the mindset, you are not gonna accomplish. I don't care what you do. If you don't have a mindset of what you're trying to accomplish or what you want to succeed in, you will not succeed in it. You will get so far, and then you'll get pulled back. Because the reason why is when you have a mindset on something that you're trying to get, if you got the mindset that you are in recovery, and that's breathing recovery, that's everything recovery, that's all things recovery, right now when you step into a situation, and you step into a situation where you know it's going to be a, a, a bad situation, what's going to kick in? Your instinct is going to kick in. Because what you live and breathe, die. Uh, you are in recovery. You are recovery. You live, breathe it. You die. You 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 are surrounded by people that's in recovery. So you will be ready to face what you have to face. But once again, if you want the people that put it down, when you get around certain people, and then you want the people to pick it up, when you get around the people in recovery community, because you want to be in recovery, you know. And then when you get home and someone comes up from your past that you try to get, a, get, get out your life, Doc, and they came back and they hit you with a vulnerable situation, what's going to happen? You're going to fall back in that trap. And I've been reading different things. I've been, you know, different organizations put stuff out, which is good that, you know, try to talk to people and try to, and, and, uh, try to educate them for what they can do through the holiday season. I'm going to tell you right now, control it. I, You know me, I don't sugarcoat nothing. Because, you know, son, recovery is about empowerment. Recovery is about, recovery is about your life. You got one chance at life. One chance. So if you don't have control of this, that, and when I mean control on you got on it, you got your hand on it, you are gripping your recovery, you got your addiction under your foot. But in order to do that, you got to practice the other thing. You got to get into, you got to get around people in recovery. You know, you got to get around people in recovery. I don't understand it. But then being around people in recovery, if you ain't got the mindset, doesn't mean anything. They're going back on that mind. If you would have been renewing your mind, when we started talking about renewing the mind last year, and the thing, and I'm telling you, it worked. I have been listening to people that do motivational speaking. I have been listening to Tony Robbins. I have been listening to Les Brown. I have been listening to uh, Eric Thomas. I have been listening to Jim Rohn. I have been listening to all these people that started from nothing and are wealthy, successful. Jim Rohn has passed, but the ones that are still living are successful people. But you know the one thing they said? You gotta have a mind. That's it. And then another thing they said, you gotta have a heart. So that tells me, oh wow, mindset. It tells me I gotta get my mind right. I gotta start renewing my mind. I gotta get that negative stuff out of there. Because you know something? Yeah, you're gonna be this weekend yeah you're gonna be faced with some some 
some adversity. Yeah, you're going to go back to some places where you have burnt some bridges, but you are trying to give it a chance. But people don't understand. People aren't you. So don't worry about the surroundings. Don't worry about surroundings. You just worry about yourself in this situation. If you're going back to a house where you burnt that bridge in your addiction or you did some stuff in your life that hurt that person's feeling, don't worry about what the other person feels. You are there for a purpose. You are there to give thanks and have a Thanksgiving dinner. But if you let that get on top of you, if you let that get in you, what's going to happen? Depression. It's going to bring you down. Then you're vulnerable. But if you haven't confronted yourself, if you haven't, if you haven't been and renewing your mind, if you are, and I can't tell you this anymore, and it, it, it gets me passionate about it, because you know something? Like I said, you got one chance at this. If you are in recovery, or if you're trying to change your life, or get on the right path, you got one chance. That's how you got to think about it. I got one chance. So what I'm going to do, the thing is, you know, so think about it as a car. You buy a brand new car. You treat that car so good. You treat it well. You washing it. You try, you shining it up. You cleaning it out. You tell people, hey man, don't smoke in my car. You know, you you and you treat that car good. Just think about recovery. Just think about your body. Just think about your life. Treat it that. Treat it, treat it just like that. So what that? So what you do to your car? You put fuel in it because you want to go somewhere. You fill it up. Because you know saying you don't put no gas in it, you can't go nowhere. So that's the same thing with your mind. <laughs> if you don't put no good stuff in it, you ain't gonna go nowhere. You're not gonna go as far as you can go in your recovery. You're not gonna go as far as you can go in your life. And I thought about this. You know, so I thought about this today. And I said, okay, how you know? Because I think about all this stuff before I get on live, and I think about it, and I always put myself in another person's situation before I get on there and I start, you know, getting all hyped up. But I thought about that. I said, what makes me different? What makes me different? First, my faith make me, makes me different. I believe in my higher power. My faith makes me different. But my mindset, my mindset, I don't feed my mind with negative stuff. And you think I'm lying? I don't. I've been sitting here all day. I've been listening to positive stuff. Because you know something? My life and my recovery mean more to me. Because I know where I came from. I know where I, I know how hard it was to beat this demon. I know. And I'm not gonna let anyone take that back. So you know something? I was I've been all day listening to motivational stuff. You know, I don't even watch the news hardly. Because I ain't got time for that. Because you know something, my goals are not gonna get achieved with my old mindset. I can say all day, zero, I want zero out life center to do this. I want to go out there and help people. I wanna be, I wanna be, I wanna be the best recovery coach ever. I wanna be bring people to to recovery. I wanna help addicts. But you know something, I can say it all day. But if I got that old addict mindset, it's nothing. So that's how you got to be. That's how you got to be when you Facing this weekend, you need to go ahead and start setting your mind up. Get your recovery plan in your mind. Go ahead and start setting your mind up. And this is for anyone not in recovery. This is for anyone looking at my live. This is, if you go into a situation where you know there going to be some adversity and you don't need that in your life, you try to move forward. Right now, you need to be setting your mind right now to deal with that. You need to play it all out in your head and think of some exit plans. Because you know, son, your mind is stopping you from everything you want to do. You could be successful. You could be the richest person in the world. But if your mind get all that junk in it, and people start coming around your life that put that stuff in your mind, everything start to decline. Everything start to decline one by one, one by one, one by one. And then when it all falls down, you're back to ground zero. First thing we say, I don't know what happened. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened. What happened, you put on that old mindset. You know, 
that was that that what happened you put on that old mindset you got a filthy mind i was looking at i was looking at hey i was uh um no it was yesterday i was at work yesterday we got four board four um, four eagles at work four out of all the birds we got we got four eagles at work and they stay in one area and it's up by the front where everyone comes in where all the patrons come in where all the golfers come in they are up front. I only see eagles when they fly. They fly with eagles. The only four eagles fly together. I don't see eagles flying with pigeons. I don't see eagles flying with well, a chicken don't fly, but I don't see eagles flying with crows. I see crows flying with crows. So that's the mindset you gotta have this weekend. That's the that's the come on, man. That's the mindset you gotta have this week. You gotta have that eagle mindset. What you gonna do? Yes, you're gonna meet some people from your past. Yeah, you're gonna see some classmates. Yeah, you're gonna see, but don't worry about what they're doing. It's about you. you can read all these stuff that these organizations are putting out. Oh, this is what you need to do through the holidays to no. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't set your mind to be successful this weekend, that's all you gotta do. Is sit there and turn that negative stuff that that inner voice is telling you that that the person is trying to build up in you, trying to say, yeah, they're gonna talk about you this weekend. Yeah, everyone gonna look at you at the dinner table. Yeah, oh, they they don't care about you. They think you the lioness thief, the the prostitute, the old, the 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 bum that stole stuff stuff from them. But if you believe that stuff, because that's not who you are, that's who you was. So if you keep believing that stuff, that inner voice is telling you. Then when someone say the wrong thing to you, boom, hurt your feelings. The pressure kick in. The first thing you said, I knew I shouldn't never come here. That's the first thing you're gonna say. I knew I shouldn't never come. I should have stayed where I was at. And then next thing you know, next thing you're gonna say, take me away from here. Where are you gonna go? So so already you're about to go down the wrong path. Take me somewhere. That's what everyone said when, when they get past. Take just take me somewhere. Find me a ride, just get me out of here. And the wrong person pick you up. The wrong person take you somewhere. The wrong person got you in a place drinking and carrying on. And they see, you know, you about to put a needle back in your arm. You about to put something up your nose. You about to smoke a crack pop. You about to do something. What you going to do? You came 500 miles away to see family and leave the way you was. But if you were, if, 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 if you get control of this, and I'm telling you how to get, get control of this with your mind. That's how you get control of your addiction with your mind. That's how you get control of the things that you are trying, that you have failed in the past with your mind. If you want to conquer those things that you have failed, get your mind right. I have plenty of people tell me what I'm doing cannot be accomplished. I have plenty of people tell me that. I have people, I have people in a in the professional field, tell me it, it can't get accomplished. But I did not put that in my mind. Because you know what I tell myself? If I don't do this, if I don't do this, you know what? Somebody's going to die. Someone's going to overdose. Somebody's going to lose the... I can't change all, I can't change them all. I can't bring them all, but I can just get one. But you know something? That's not being selfish. Yeah, I'm in recovery. Who cares? I don't care about nobody else. But that that's not being selfish. If you're in recovery and you selfish, you only think about you. I know your mind ain't right now. So you read everything that these people putting out, you know, so be it. I haven't seen one thing they said, you know, don't be alone. Yeah, don't be alone this weekend. If you know that this is a big weekend for you, that you miss your kids, that you miss your family, and you don't have a way to get there, don't be alone. I think about one Christmas, back in the streets, when I was at about there partying hard, tearing up the roads and everything, I remember one Christmas, I was off. And I want to 
get me some cocaine. I was just chill. Me and his, me and his, me and his partner chill the whole week, whole Christmas Eve, whole Christmas Day. While everyone opened their present, we still get high. And after he left and went to see his people, I was sitting there all alone, depressed, depressed. Thank you, man, I should have done this. With no money in my pocket, depressed on Christmas. And you know ain't nothing open on Christmas but McDonald's. So saying all that, I learned from my mistakes too. That next Christmas, and this and I was the party scene. That next Christmas, I was still the addict then. That next Christmas, I said, uh-uh, nope. We're gonna cut this thing off short. And Christmas Day. I wasn't I wasn't like I was last year. So if I had mine as an addict, why I don't have that mind now as a recovering addict? I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. And an uh, addict mind frame, we do so much things creative. We get our money anyway. But when we get in recovery, things are so hard. Things are so hard. I was looking at Drug Inc. the other night. On, on on National Geographic and they was talking about the heroin epidemic that's in Staten Island and we was looking at this 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 boy driving around all day long just to get money to get him a couple bags of heroin he was ambitious he knew boy when he got that thing he was so happy oh man this one got the nice stamp on it oh man this one I don't know how this feel I don't know what where it was so if you take that same mentality and I've been around addicts and I know how that feel but if you take that same mentality see why i'm so passionate right now because this is how recovery do to you if you and and, and because i don't get into I, I got my depression under my foot all right but if we take that same mentality in recovery you'll be successful because when anything comes your way you say all right well you know, things didn't pan out for me but I'm gonna move on to the next thing, because you already celebrating. You already you 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 and you know about celebrating. That's why it's one of the C's. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. You should celebrate anything. But, and I looked at the guy. I'm like, wow. Back in them days, you know, you drive around three or four days trying to find something you couldn't find. You and you held out. And when you got it, you was happy. So we get into recovery now. And we can't get a job. Oh man, we can't. Oh, we can't. This ain't panel out. This ain't uh acting right for me. Now we sad and depressed. And then we say, I don't have nothing else to do, so I'm all going back to my old lifestyle. But the thing is. If you have the right mindset, if you have the mind, if you have the mind for what you are in, what you're doing, you know, so if you have the mind when those things hit you, when the adversity hits you, you know what? It won't affect you as as hard. But if you're a part time recovering at it, it's going to affect you hard. If you're a part time person that's trying to accomplish some goals, it's going to affect you hard. So, back again, control. And champions don't let other people ruin them. So if you go somewhere this weekend and somebody hurts your feelings, you know something, okay, so what? You ain't got to go home with the person. You ain't staying with the person. Okay. Stop being so sensitive, please. to be sensitive in this in this journey you on recurring addicts cannot be sensitive I, I, I you know son I hate to be this way but you know something I know what it takes motivation empowerment I know what it takes so you can't afford you can't afford to be sensitive but you gotta walk in there wherever you go on this weekend 
you got to know you got to walk in there with the attitude you got to walk in with the expectation that okay whatever yeah i know i'm gonna face this person okay whatever but they they're not gonna bother me they're not gonna take my recovery they're not gonna set me back they're not gonna, oh they're their their negative vibe is not gonna jump on me but if you walk in there looking for it knowing it's there but you walk in with the mindset looking for it it's gonna hit you harder than it's gonna hit the other person so it's basically it's just controlling control it get your foot on it maintain it maintain it that's what it said the power to restrain you have the power but if you don't have the mindset your power is weak your mind feels everything your mind feels everything if you want to be successful in recovery get your mind right you need to start you should have been doing that two weeks ago but you need to get your mind right Because if you relapse this weekend, you didn't get your mind. You your mind wasn't right. Because you know something, it's all right up here. Thoughts start coming. Oh man, when that brain start turning, oh man, you remember that feeling? Oh man, yeah, look at it. This, that, and the third, you know. But you know, if you had your mind right, you would not be in that situation. So. What you going to do this weekend? You going to be a champion and control it? Or you going to be a crow? Or you going to be a pigeon? What you going to be do? You going to be an eagle? Or you going to be a crow? Look at the crows at work too. And you know so I look at crows at work and what they do is they hang around you and expect you to feed them. And if you don't feed them or if you do feed them, so you turn your back away, whatever you have left there, they will take it from you. So now I want you to think about your old people that you used to hang with, that you used to run with. You know something? They like like the crows. They'll come around you because you're your home. You in you're your own environment. And they expect that you are in recovery, so you have money. So they want something from you. All right. And if you don't fulfill their dream or fulfill their need. They'll try to take anything from you. And what they do is they're going to try to take your recovery. They're going to try to bring you back to where they are. And then they're going to leave you and go to the next person. So if you are a champion, you are eagle, you ain't, you, you ain't, you ain't flying with the crows anymore. That's not who you, that's, that's not, who you, that's who you was. So if you're traveling all down the road, you need to start renewing your mind all the way until you get to grandma house, mama house, daddy house, auntie house, uncle house. You need to start empowering yourself. You need to start that's controlling all the way to your destination. And then when you get on back, start empowering yourself all the way back home. And let's get serious about this thing. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. Are you going to be in recovery? You're gonna play around with it and if you want to be in recovery it starts right here this right here will make some things move this right here will make some things open this right here can make some things happen for you because what they say you are is who you who you really are what it say on paper that you did is not who you are what everybody think about you is not who you are but if you take what they say about you and what you read about yourself and what you see on Facebook and all this mess and put it up here, that's who you're going to be. And another thing, too, get out there and start advocating. Be an advocate. Start advocating. You know, so I know that people put a comments on everybody's stuff on Facebook. You comment on everybody's stuff on Facebook. How about you go out there and comment and help someone else get into recovery? That's help you out too to stay in long-term recovery. Because it gives you a sense of purpose.
So I know I'm all over the place tonight, but I told Mary, I said, it's straight tonight. It's straight empowerment because you know something? You can't afford to go down there, wherever you're going or wherever you're staying, and get around and get all the press and relapse. Or you can't afford if you on a path and you got some things lined up, you got some goals you're trying to accomplish, and you get somewhere and someone ruins your goals, and then what? So that's why I'm all over the place tonight. But it's okay. But I want y'all all to have a great holiday weekend. I want all y'all to, you know, something, just enjoy your family, be thankful for what you have, what you're trying to get, you know, something because um, you don't know what next year may may be. So enjoy the moment. Take it in. You know, if this your first Thanksgiving in recovery, smell it. Take it in, look at it. Feel it. Because you know something, while you're doing that, you can look forward to next year. So when times get rough, you can, you know, that old memory go back to that smell. Oh, mama cooking and she was just happy to see you because she never seen you, you know, sober. You know, mama just kept kissing you. Daddy just kept hugging you, you know. Your sister just kept talking to you. You know, that's what you need to, that's what you need to take in. So you can replay that when things get tough. So when, so when you're back, uh, when you're backed up and you got adversity facing you, that's some things that you need to bring out. I can keep, you know, I can do this. Because my mama smiled at me. She ain't smiled at me in a while. You know, I see my mama cry a lot. But this year she was smiling. She was telling me how proud I am, how proud she is of me. But don't, but don't bring back all them stuff that, oh, man, so-and-so said this about me and she looked at me funny and all this mess. And, you know, they all think I'm still an addict, but I tell them, I, no, you don't need to bring that back with you. Please don't. Bring back the good moments. So, thank y'all. I hope this I hope this touched somebody to the heart and touched somebody's mind and gets you to start thinking about it. this thing is serious. This is your life. You got one chance at this. You know something? I know you done tried two or three times in and out of rehab, going here, whatever. This might be your last chance. Because you know what? They ain't playing out there. Open your eyes. Get to Get your head out of Facebook and other people's timelines and get your head into the news and start looking at what these people are doing to these to these drugs. And then you want to step out there you want to. It might die. Comment on that. Take that with you this weekend. Remember, it don't take one time. It don't take one drop of fentanyl. One drop of fentanyl, one drop will take you to an overdose. One drop. To any drug that you have, heroin, cocaine, whatever, one drop. Now, this ain't what I, now, I'm not coming up with this stuff. A drug dealer said it on Drug Inc. <laughs> it takes one drop of fentanyl, and it takes one person to overdose. Whoever get that bag, whoever get, wherever they sell it. So remember that. All right? So thank y'all. Please enjoy your family. Hug your, hug your family members, all right? And we will hit you again on Monday. And, you know, so I'll let you know how my weekend went. I'll let you know what all I did, all right? So all y'all be safe. If you're traveling, be safe, all right? And just enjoy the Thanksgiving. And I'm thankful for all y'all that watch this. I'm thankful for all your comments. I'm just thankful, all right? So thank y'all. Have a great Thanksgiving and have a great night. See you.